okay. When I said last night. I, I said, wasn't I was, zooming. I want to get something for my truck for my birthday. I want to get something for my truck. And she said. And your mom's like, well, how much is it? And I told her. She said, well, we'll go get it. Because she felt bad. She, exactly. You didn't know how much it was. <laughs> oh, she's tricky. She just went and did it. All of a sudden, it was there in the mailbox. No. So she's like. She just ordered. Just, she just swiped her little. Um, Jerry, just go get it. Duke it's little. Okay. channel because she doesn't know how to do this so I'm taking over because I'm the queen and the star so um mom do you want to tell us what we're doing today what we're doing right now okay so we're headed to Golden Corral we're gonna have breakfast with my mom and dad um I do not like Golden Corral it's kind of it's nasty. sticky but breakfast is okay so if you're gonna go go for breakfast it reminds me you know when you go to Chuck E. Cheese and you sit down and you feel like your thighs are sticking and when you touch something <laughs> it's like sticking in your hand that's what Golden Corral is like and their plates I don't trust them. Well, I like um, to check them out. How do you feel about going to crawl? I love it. You know, I didn't even ask you, how do you feel about going to crawl? It's okay. Sometimes it feels Dad, right. That's all we no, need. No. <laughs> that's all we need. Cut him out. Because he'll like try to do professional voice. Let's look at the one next. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I said, we're heading, we're heading to yeah, Asheville today. Car. That's what we're going to do. We yeah, are about fun. an hour and a half away it's from beautiful. Asheville, I think. In our new area, so you look cute. <laughs> do a montage of me, and then you can do a little voice over like, This is my daughter, she's got blue eyes and brown hair. Oh, this is my camera now. No, this is my camera. <laughs> I just want to YouTube all day now. <laughs> done eating at Cone Corral and it was nasty so I have reminded my husband we are not going to go on Corral again I thought maybe it would be okay because it was like breakfast but it was disgust Ugh. Ugh. so we are now going to the only place we should have went to to begin with where you think that is Look at these people. Every time you video, there's like a kid gone. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Elliot was here, now he's not. I have so many kids that it's like, can't get them all in one picture. I don't want to shoot. Yeah. Well, I'm not This is where we should have just started our breakfast off. The Dunkin'. And you know what? They are already decked out for fall. But unfortunately, they don't have pumpkin spice yet. So let me go order. Yeah. Half That's all you want. It's just a half calf, regular black coffee. Boring like your personality. Boring like my
It's a bike. This is a bike. He's riding his bike. He probably takes people on rides. That's so funny. some kind of coffee shop bakery there's some downtown but we're looking for something else but guess where we're headed we are headed to where are we headed GW. <laughs> we're headed to g-dubs that's our kind of shopping <laughs> Let them see your nasty attitude. This is my nasty attitude. No, uh -uh. I think just what I saw a minute ago. <laughs> because you don't listen. Huh? You don't want to listen to me. No, I saw some nastiness just a minute ago. Now show show yeah. your all your all your um, nesters. Your 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 real Kimmy. This is the real Kimmy. Show them your Kimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I can be nasty. I will be the first to admit it. <laughs> okay. No, um, all right, so I just wanted to finish up this vlog that we were started the other day, but I didn't want to just end it abruptly. Oh, uh, you're pretty. Anyway, um, I didn't want to just end it abruptly. I wanted to show you guys what I picked up at the thrift store and what we picked up when we were in Asheville. So I'll start with what we picked up, what I picked up in Asheville. I found this new store, and it's called April Cornell. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that. She told me, I had never heard of it before. She told me it was like a store that was mostly up north, like Maine, I guess maybe is where it started. But anyway, I fell in love with this store. It was like super cute, like farmhouse meets fancy, like clothing and 
just that what really impressed me was like the tablecloths. I mean, beautiful, beautiful tablecloths, but not cheap at all. They were really, really pricey. Um, but they had their spring and summer line stuff on clearance. So I did pick up two pillow covers this time. Y'all know I love pillows, but I didn't get the inserts. I just got pillow covers and um, the matching. It's not really a full tablecloth. It's just like a big square. And I guess a part of the whole April Cornell thing is like a lot of layers, which makes your little tablescape really cute. So this is what I got. And I'm not going to undo this whole thing, but look how pretty it is. First of all, I'm thinking like July 4th, how pretty would that be on like a little porch, little table or something like that? And maybe anyway, um, but I love this crocheted edging around it. If you guys can see that, can you see that? Are you showing them that? Yeah. Isn't that so pretty? Oh my gosh, I love this. I, I just think it's so pretty and it's different. And I guess they, the designer, like she creates the, um, the fabrics or whatever. And they have all kinds of stuff. Like I said, clothing as well as, you know, linens and bed sheets. It's very Victorian type, um, but just really pretty. And then here is one of the matching pillowcases or pillow covers I should say in the back like buttons so it's gonna be really easy to put on and it's got that same cute little like man Maggie <laughs> it's got that same crochet edge but I thought that was really really cute um, and I think all together was like $50 for the two pillow covers and this and I believe this is pretty big um, I can't remember the dimensions but $50 and that was on clearance. Mm, I know. Okay, so when we went to the thrift store, I didn't find too much. My husband bought like probably how many how many light bulbs did you buy? I think literally we spent like sixty five dollars on light bulbs because they had brand new LED light bulbs. Duke Energy has this thing where they give light bulbs, I guess, to Goodwill so that Goodwill can sell them cheap to like help people like in energy, you know, reducing energy. I don't know. Um, and so he bought literally like $65 worth of light bulbs y'all I mean seriously anyway so let me show you what I bought so I don't know I guess I was on a theme here with this whole red so I found these super cute plates I just love them they have strawberries around them I only found two of them they're Carlsberry made in Japan like everything else in America Japan or China but anyway um, I thought these were super cute and it just kind of reminded me of like a cute little plate for that tablecloth that I bought. And to go with it as well, I picked up this super cute little, little whatever dish with the lid. And it's got strawberries on it as well. And you guys know I have some milk glass strawberry plates and a couple other little things that I've picked up. I just think this is really cute um, summer, July 4th type of you know, decor. I just think it's really super cute. This was $3 and these were, I don't know, it doesn't say, but I believe they were like, you know, two or $3 a piece as well. And you guys look what I found. How cute is this little thing? I don't even know what it is, but do you guys see what that is? It's a bee scab. <laughs> Isn't this adorable? Seriously, this is really cute. Um, the guy charged me like a quarter for it. Uh, it's some kind of little pottery. I don't know if that maybe one time it had some kind of a little lid, but I don't care because it would look really cute with just maybe some little like wildflowers coming out of it. But it's a bee scab. So cute. Anyway, and I picked up three articles of clothing. They had like a couple rows that were like 50 cents. And so, you know, I went through it and I found some sweaters. So I found this cute cardigan type sweater. It's got this nice big... Um, collar on it. It buttons down. The only bad thing is, is it doesn't have pockets. I love pockets. Pockets in sweaters, pockets in skirts, but I love the color and that's what drew me to it. Plus it was like 50 cents. Seriously? I mean, that's cute. It is Talbot's and it's a size large. And I picked up this cardigan. It's kind of like this chartreuse color. I have it inside out right now. Um, this one I love the color. I think it's really pretty. It has, it buttons up as well, halfway down. It does have pockets. This is um, Massimo, I guess that's how you say that, you know, the brand that they sell at Target. It's a size medium. I probably would have loved this more if it were a large because I like my sweaters to be a little bit bigger, but I thought it was really cute for 50 cents and I love the color. 
and I bought this vest. Was I was a little bit unsure about this vest. I don't know how I feel about this so much. It's um, Saddlebred. It's probably pretty old. It's a size large. I think Saddlebred used to be sold at like, I don't know. It might even be like a man's vest, honestly, now that I think about it. No, seriously, Eric, I think it might be. Seriously, Saddlebred? Isn't that like an old, like, men's, like, JCPenney or Sears grind or something? I don't know, but I don't care because I liked it. And I like the color. But like I said, I say I like it, but like, I'm still a little bit unsure about it. I don't know. Whatever. It's kind of cute. I mean, what do y'all think? You know, maybe with a cute, like, little white t-shirt. I don't know. I just love this color. And it's got pockets. I mean, seriously. Pockets. Love pockets. Anyway, so that's it for this vlog. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I plan to make some more vlogs. I think it's a lot of fun, but I tell you what, it's a little bit um, taking me out of my comfort zone because I'm sitting there carrying this camera around um, and I'm like videoing as I'm going to, and I'm trying to be discreet about it and I feel really, really paranoid. <laughs> like I feel like everybody's like looking at me like, what is this girl doing? Why are you zooming in on me like this? Don't, this is the first time my husband has ever been my my video man. Let me see this. For real. Let's give him some true life right now. No, come on. He's like laughing, like laughing at himself. Really? Anyway, so uh, I guess I'll finish this vlog myself here. Um, my cameraman is now fired. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Bye.